What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. What is up? Today I am building a keyboard. That's right, I got myself some switches, I got, got myself some keycaps, I got myself a DIY mechanical keyboard kit, and we're going to build this from scratch. And you might be thinking, why am I building it? Well, you see, I wanted to make a keyboard in a specific style, a keyboard style that I personally haven't seen too much of. And this, in well, in this case, I decided to make a very blue keyboard, as you're gonna see here in a bit. When I decided to make this keyboard, I was looking for high quality, and specifically, I wanted it to look exactly how I wanted to look. And in this situation, it was a very blue keyboard. So I went with switches that are blue, I went with keycaps that are blue, but for the base, I chose white, and you're gonna see why it looks, in my opinion, a lot better with the white base. The white kind of looks like a cloud while all the switches and caps look kind of like water or the sky, and that was done on purpose. So here you can see I am unwrapping the Fecker Mechanical Keyboard Kit. Specifically, this is called the Fecker IK75 Pro DIY Kit. I chose this one again because of the white style on it, and just the pictures and videos I did see on it just looked great, so I knew this is what I wanted. Just to give you some info on this specific kit and why I chose it, it has 82 keys. It is RGB, which is always a big factor. It's a 75% keyboard with gasket mounting, and it has a steel plate, USB-C wired. It's hot swappable, supporting three pin and five pin switches, which is like 90 something percent of switches. And that was really important to me because if I ever want to switch it out or edit it a little bit more, I can. And that, of course, is something you should be looking out for as well. It's full key anti-ghosting and works on anything that really has a USB connection. So this is pretty much perfect for me. Next up, we have the switches. And I opted in for the A-Jazz switches, specifically the blue clicky switches as it's labeled. However, they're not gonna be as clicky as your cherry blue switches. Just keep that in mind. Um, but they are decently clicky. And again, I wasn't looking necessarily for, oh, how clicky will my switches be? I was going for a specific look because I'm going for this whole blue and white theme. And so I chose some switches that looked great for that. And as you can see, this has like that transparent look as well, which I think works really well with the keycaps as you'll see a little bit later on. And this is a three pin, so it should work on this DIY kit with no issues whatsoever. So at this point, I'm just gonna put in all of the switches into the keyboard just so you can see that they go in pretty smoothly. Now keep in mind that it may take a little extra force and that's completely normal. Just make sure you're aligning the pins with the holes themselves so that way you're not just bending them and you know forcing them through. Now again, it will require a little bit of force if you're doing this yourself. And depending on your kit, maybe it won't require that much force. But for me, it was a decent amount of force. And I did take out one of the switches later on. Actually, I took out a couple just to check and see if any of the uh, pins got bent. None of them did, so that means I was doing it correctly. It all was working just fine, and I did try a typing test later on without any issues. Everything was typing up correctly, so that means all of the switches, as far as I could tell, were put in properly. But again, don't freak out. I remember when I was doing my uh, keycap removal video, a lot of people were freaking out because they were worried that they were going to break the caps. Again, these switches and caps are pretty sturdy, so you don't need to worry that much. Now for this specific kit, I ended up buying three packs of these switches. The reason is because each pack I think had like 45 switches if I'm not mistaken. And so 45 for two packs was going to cover it. The reason I bought an extra pack was just to be safe. I like to have an extra pack of these switches in case I ever break them or, you know, whoever sells them stops selling them in the future. That way I can at least have a backup pack just to be safe. And you're going to probably want to do the same. You don't have to, but that would be my suggestion at least. And here we have our final product. Minus the keycaps, of course. We still gotta add those. But so far, I'm loving how it looks. And you're gonna notice I am tapping, and that's because I will have another video that will have all the different sounds this keyboard makes as I'm adding in the switches, what the switches sound like. So be on the lookout for that if that's something you're interested in as well. All right, so now we have our Keytalk blue transparent keycap set with 174 keys, meant for Cherry Profile. So this should really work for any of these keyboards that I'm making. But as you can see, it has that nice blue transparent look. It looks a little darker in the box because again, it is transparent and it has that black background in that box. But you'll see 
once it's on this keyboard, it's going to look pretty nice, no lie. So just so you have an idea, it comes with 104 keys and 70 extra replacement keys. So it lets you kind of customize a little bit better. And it has some size variations as well for certain keys like Alt and all that. So that way, depending on your keyboard, you may need a smaller size. And that way you don't need to buy a new set. So no matter what, it should work. And in case you're wondering, it will work for 61 keys, 68 keys, six, uh, 87 keys, 96 keys, 100 keys, 104 keys, etc. With layouts of 60%, 65%, 75%, 80%, 98%, and 100%. And it contains a spacebar size of 6.25U and 7U. So hopefully that should give you enough information in case you're thinking about buying these. And of course, it's very light, which is also great. But... I'm just gonna go ahead and have this as you can see at like a very fast speed because the main thing here is that you just wanna see what it looks like in its placement. Another thing I wanted to add though is you will notice it also has a bit of a gradient effect. So as it goes from left to right, it changes the kind of color of the blue. So it's kind of a lighter greenish blue on the left and then makes its way to a darker blue as it moves to the right. And they have adjusted for that for the extra keys that it comes with as well. So when you put in those extra keys, depending on how big your keyboard is, it'll still keep that effect. And actually, if you have like a full 100% keyboard, what it will do instead is it'll go from a light blue to a darker blue, then back to the light blue as it goes across. So that's kind of neat as well. Just thought I'd mention that for anyone who might be wondering why the blues look a little odd as you're looking at it. Now, as you can see, the transparent blue keycaps are looking great on those blue switches. And the purpose of that, of course, was because we want to have a blue switch so it doesn't mess up the coloring of the caps themselves. And just look at that. Look at that finished product. Doesn't that look just so amazing? Personally, I'm loving how this looks. And we haven't even turned on the RGB lights yet. And that's just going to add another big twist and flair to it. So just wait for that part. So we have our final keyboard here. We just gotta plug it in and see those light effects. But some other things to note that this keyboard does have software. So if you wanna customize it even more, you can do so. So that's another reason I chose this kit because I love being able to customize my keyboards as much as possible. And if in the future I do decide to maybe switch out the switches or the keycaps to a different color or just a totally different scheme, well, I have that option to do so. Man, just look at this keyboard. I am surprised how well this turned out. And honestly, even on camera, it doesn't even look as good as it does in person. The lights are very vibrant through this and it came out way better because I wasn't sure how it would end up looking with the RGB lights. I knew that I would love how it looked with just the keycaps and the uh, switches that are nice and blue. But with these lights, I actually think that the overall effect is just great. It gives me kind of maybe a North Pole kind of vibe, you know, with maybe the Aurora Borealis. I think overall, this was a great choice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want me to do more of these, let me know as well, because personally, I loved making this video. So let me know in the comments. Peace.